dobrý deň. Dneska sme v Londýne s Markom Villersom, ktorý je Queen's Kancelár, čiže on je advokát v advokátskej komore v Londýne, jeden vlastne z vedúcich tejto advokátskej komory. Sa s vecami hlavne, ktorými sa zaoberá, sú ľudské práva a sú to práva Rómov, Travelers a Gypsy. Vlastne sa nám Mark predstaví a povie nám vlastne, čo robí. Uh, good afternoon, we are in London today. We meeting Marvelous QC, Queen's Counselor, who is the barrister. Uh, he is the head of this uh, um, in as well and the, the, the field he is dealing with, the human rights and most importantly for us it's a Gypsy and Roma travellers right. And now uh, Mark's going to introduce himself and tell us what his, his work is and what part of groups he is and tell him something about himself. Thank you very much. So uh, yeah, my name is Mark Willers, I'm the head of Garden Court Chambers, uh, a chambers with 200 barristers uh, who mainly practice in uh, human rights law. I specialise in representing uh, gypsies, Roma and travellers. I'm a trustee of an organisation called Friends, Families and Travellers and also a board member of the European Roma Rights Centre uh, that does an awful lot of work in the European Court of Human Rights on behalf of Roma. I've represented uh, gypsies, Roma and travellers uh, since the 1980s, so for over 30 years. And I do a lot of work for them, trying to get them planning permission for their caravan sites, uh, trying to tackle discrimination that they face in the UK and abroad. Uh, and I'm very proud to do so because um, I think their cause is uh, really, really important. What is your opinion about Roma situation across Europe? Um, Roma, in, Roma people in Europe uh, face uh, extreme forms of discrimination in their day-to-day -day life. And um, that can be in terms of health, education, accommodation, uh, employment, uh, poverty levels are extreme. Um, and, you know, also uh, the fact that they are subjected often to violence by other members of the public and also by the police. And, um, you know, it's a sort of uh, discrimination that in this day and age should no longer be faced by anybody yet. Právě na, to, na tohle to jsme poukazovali já, že i Andrea a zajímalo by nás, jak se dá taková situace řešit my po právní stránce, jak řešit tu situaci po právní stránce, aby se ta, ten život Romů zlepšil. Veme, veme osady na Slovensku, tam jsou porušovány úplně všechny ty práva. Right. Well, it's quite a tough uh, issue to uh, address, so good luck. really important to try and change uh, attitudes at the grassroots level and at the, you know, the level of the local council, um, let alone the kind of the national government. Uh, and, but how do you do that? Because then you are really t trying to tackle prejudice that has existed for many hundreds of years. Uh, and that's the same in the UK as it is in somewhere like uh, the Slovak Republic or, or, or Czech Republic or Hungary or any other country. I think that um, there needs to be um, a serious amount of uh, uh, resources put into educating everybody in the community uh, about human rights, about the fact that everybody should be treated equally. Uh, and that includes uh, uh, Roma friends and neighbours. Um, and once, once the, uh, the, the community is, uh, understands and respects the human rights of all those that live around them, they're more likely to be receptive to the needs of, of gypsies, travellers and Roma. But until that happens, uh, you will continue to face, as a, uh, or Roma will continue to face uh, as an ethnic minority group, you know, the kind of overt discrimination that uh, we've been talking about. Would the law help us in any way? Could we kind of bring the, any legal action against such a breach of the human rights then? Well, those kind of cases are being brought, but as I said, they, they, they take a long way, they take a long time to get to the European Court of Human Rights. And then when the European Court of Human Rights does the right thing and makes a decision um, upholding the law and upholding the rights of the, uh, uh, the Roma, those decisions rarely then get implemented. So there's nothing changes on the ground. So um, you can put more pressure on the government with more cases that are brought, and I think more cases should be brought. Um, that's important. But at the same time, something needs to happen back home. And so I think education of lawyers, judges, uh, local councillors, um, everybody in every profession you know, needs to respect the rights of gypsies, travellers, 
and in, in, in mainland Europe, uh, Roma. And until they do, and they treat Roma with uh, you know, equal respect, things aren't going to change. Eu de la Roma le bag să stipen, a dat eu am eu palo avocatos, mi pena la ngesandu da obucha de romenza. A sala mi gimanete și chitina la avocata. Ai ce să mi gimba mi rado, adică dure de să fac mi dau eu acela, pai chiar a fumen ge. Thank you very much for your help. Thank you for everything. So come taking to right way to help to Roma people to Slovak check within the court, I know that it's very long, long way, but never know when you're starting, maybe something is done. Absolutely, yeah. I think more cases should be brought. There's no doubt about that. But I think that uh, the community back home needs to uh, really be um, educated to understand that Roma need to be treated equally, just as everybody yes. else needs to be treated. But fight for justice. Other documents are back as a stipend. Bak to sa stipen, a čo